Hey, what's going on guys? I'm going to do a quick bow sight review for you guys. This is the Spot Hog Fast Eddy. Um, this is the two pin version. They've got a couple different models. This is the two pin version. Uh, so today I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about the sight, what I feel about it as far as whether or not I would recommend buying it, how to mount it on your bow, how to put the calibration tapes on, get you out in the field. Uh, so let's just jump right into it. Would I recommend buying this bow sight again to somebody else or if I was going to buy another bow sight, would I purchase this sight again? The answer is yes. Um, I'm really, really happy with this bow sight. It fills a need in the hunting slash target archery community that's somewhat specific, but for the people out there who are like me, it's exactly what you need. So let's talk about what I wanted in a bow sight. So for me, what I wanted in a bow sight is I needed two things. So I enjoy shooting target archery 3D during the summer. I just love to shoot my bow, but I also use it in a hunting application. Um, so for me, I'm kind of, I needed the demands of both. So what do I want in a target sight? Well, what I want in a target sight is I want the adjustability. So I want to be able to have a dial on my sight that allows me to shoot distances between 20 and 100 yards. Um, having a fixed five pin or fixed four pin is just too crowded to shoot past 40 yards. Your sight housing gets too cluttered. and It's really difficult for people to um, focus on a specific target, especially at those extreme ranges. So I wanted a single pin adjustable or one single actual pin bracket. Um, so that's what I wanted on the target side. Now on the hunting side, what I wanted was I wanted a bow sight that didn't have a bunch of gadgets and gizmos that allowed me to shoot between 20 and 40 yards effectively without using any dialing. So then you're kind of in a situation. Now what sight do I do? And I don't want to be the guy who switches bow sights halfway through the year. That's just not something I want to do. I feel like you need to shoot in a hunting scenario what you do on your normal practicing. I just want everything in my gear to feel natural, nothing to be out of the ordinary. Um, and I just think that's part of being confident in the outdoors is just knowing your equipment. So I didn't want to get two different sites. I wanted to get one site. Um, after talking to a local bow tech, he showed me this. And the reason why I like this bow site so much is because it gives me two pins and it gives me a dial. The two pins allows me to have two points of reference in a hunting scenario. I get a 20 yard and I get like a 35 yard pin, per, you know, give or take. That's going to be different for everybody's bow setups at home because it depends on the arrow weight you're shooting, the poundage, etc, etc. Um, so my distances come out to be about 20 and 35 yards, which covers all my hunting scenarios. So I can lock that bow sight down, lock my dial in, and have all my hunting scenarios. Now, again, in the summertime, if I'm wanting to shoot maybe a little bit further distances, I can basically unlock the dial and dial out to whatever I wanted to. So those two features are extremely nice and it's exactly what I was looking for. So after I picked the sight up, um, I went ahead and did some shooting with it. It did not take me very long to get this thing rocking and rolling. I think start to finish from the time that I opened it up out of the package, mounted it to the bow, um, and I was on my way to dialing in my 20 yard pin with about 30 minutes. So it was a very, very quick setup process. Did not need any fancy equipment, just the Allen keys provided. Um, I think that anybody with any sort of remedial archery knowledge and just overall basic mechanics um, is more than capable of putting this on. Um, the only thing that I will s stress to you guys is this sight requires you to shoot and dial your bow into 20 and 60 yards. So when you go to sight your uh, bow in at 20 yards, make sure you get that horizontal perfect, your, ver your horizontal left and right. Make sure you get that dialed in perfect because if it's not, it will scale at 60 yards. If you're, say, an inch to the left or to the right, it will compound at 60 yards and it'll be very, very dramatic. Now, also note, if you were having issues getting your uh, bow sight dialed in and, and you shoot at 20 yards and you get it and it's left and right perfect and it's up and down perfect, you go to shoot out at 60 and suddenly you're shooting to the left or to the right of the target, that is an issue with your bow's tuning. So take it to a local bow shop, or if you know, or are familiar with bow tuning, you can do it yourself, but most people aren't in that boat. So get your bow tuned, have them, you know, uh, actually paper tune it, make sure that arrow's coming off that rest perfect, um, which will allow you to have your left and right be the same at 20 and as well as 60 yards. So again, I'm gonna talk about how to mount this thing. I'm gonna talk about the different features that I like about it, and we'll wrap this things up and give you my overall. Step one, guys. You guys should probably figure this one out is getting the sight actually mounted to your bow um, i use the middle two that just is going to adjust the distance that your sight housing is actually set away from your bow i like the middle two it just seems right for me i don't think it really matters all that much 
um, but you're going to want to get it mounted to your bow first. Okay, so now that you have the actual sight mounted to your bow, there's one thing that I want you to make sure you guys do, and that's take this Allen key off here and this one off here and actually move this whole sight housing up and down. This is going to come somewhere in the middle, and what this actually affects is the overall distance that you can adjust this. So I'm going to loosen this and show you guys what I'm talking about, and that is your up and a down adjustment. Okay, so when you move this sight down it's going to allow you to shoot further distances so again the reason why this is important is if you don't have this bracket all the way at the bottom of this adjustment bar then you won't get the full distance out of your overall bow sight so again take these two off this whole bracket can move up and down and you're going to move it into the very bottom so if you look at this allen key here that's in the very last hole and then this is has nowhere to go other than just right here so get those locked down. I always recommend putting just a scratch of like a white lithium grease on all my Allen keys and all my bows because over time these things can rust and you don't want these things to rust in. Um, so I always put just a little bit of dab of white lithium grease and that just makes sure that if I ever go to take this thing off, I don't have any issues with rusting. Okay guys, so now that you have this thing mounted up and you have your bar and you can see what I was talking about a little earlier right here with the overall adjustment distances, now that you have this all set up, you need to get your bow sighted in for 20 yards. Once you get your bow sighted in for 20 yards, we'll just say for the sake of conversation, it's right there. Okay guys, so the next step to getting this thing sighted in, after you found your 20 yards, you're going to put the top purple sight indicator on the 20 yard mark. Now again, this is gonna have a slight curvature to it because it's gonna be on that dial. But when you put it on, make sure you put it on looking at it the same way that you would look at your bow sight. If you look at it like a, at a vertical way like this, the problem is your yardage just won't be right. Um, so just hold the bow sight the same way that you would shoot your bow and get this top 20 yard marker on the top 20 yard purple thing. Um, and then you're gonna have to shoot 60. So what you're going to do is once this sight tape is on your actual bow, you've got to cut this out. Once you get this sight tape on the dial, you're going to find where 60 yards is. Now, all you're going to do is basically just kind of guess, but for me, my 60 yard was 14. So I dialed all the way out to, I would suggest for most people with a, let's say 65 pound bow, 28 and a half inch draw, that's just a point of reference for me. Um, I was at 14, so if you shoot a faster bow, it's going to be further up. If you shoot a slower bow, it's going to be further down. So you're going to find wherever your 60-yard mark is, then all you're going to do is that basically determines what sight tape to put on your bow. So, and that's basically all it's doing is determining the distance between your 20 and 60 in an actual measurement, and it's basically figuring out the drop that happened between 20 and 60, and it can calibrate what's, how it's going to drop the rest. So again, my top purple sight indicator landed on 14, so then you go through here, all of these are numbered 1 through 14. This is right where mine is. So if you look at the distances, see how the distances are changing from your 100 yard mark all the way up to your 20 yard mark. So it's basically just changing with the different distances and it's adjusting for all the different bow speeds and, and shooting lengths that you may have. So mine was sight tape 14. And once you put that sight tape on guys, that's really all there is to it. It'll dial perfectly from 20 all the way up to 60. Um, it might take some trimming. I had to trim a little extra off my sight tape in order to stick on to the wheel, but once I got it on there, it has no signs of coming off. This is a good waterproof material, and it looks like it's going to last for a while. So after going over everything, how to mount the bow sight and all that, um, I would really recommend this sight. Um, for $229, what I paid for, it, it really does fill the market for the guy who likes to do archery, you know, as far as a 3D or a summer recreational shooting as well as uh, a hunting scenario. I think it kills two birds with one stone. I think it's very effective at both applications. Um, would I recommend it to everyone? Well, no, I wouldn't recommend it to everyone because if you're not going to shoot anything further than 40 yards, it's overkill. I think it's a waste of money as far as I'm concerned. Um, if you're shooting inside 40 yards exclusively, get yourself just a three-pin bow sight. You're going to be happier with it, um, and you'll save a ton of money in the process and use that towards some other gear. Um, or if you're only going to be shooting um, you know, target archery, you're probably going to be better off with a little bit smaller of a pin and a single exclusive pin. Um, and it'd probably work out a little better for you. But if you're like me and you want it to do the best of both worlds, 
that's definitely something I recommend. Um, I feel like there's probably quite a few people like me out there because I just love shooting my bow just in general. Build quality was awesome. I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10 on that. Everything on it is metal. I don't see anything on there that gives me any sort of science that it's going to potentially break. Um, the gear is inside there got filled with goldenrod several times throughout hunting season walking to and from my stand and at no point did I ever think that the dials were going to get you know lodged up or locked up. Um, the bow tracked really well so if you're like me this was a first adjustable sight that I have ever owned um, and I was a little apprehensive about the tracking I was afraid that you know maybe going from the different distances over time that you know I wouldn't have that true lights out 20 pin yard pin where I was so used to where I would sight my bow and I'd lock it down as tight as I could and I just never moved it um, I was worried I was going to lose that and it's not um, I would highly recommend it it tracks extremely well all my distances between 20 and 80 yards were you know respectively they were about perfect um, once I got it dialed in at 20 and 60 yards so the consistency of it was great build quality was great um, again I would recommend this site to you guys if you just purchased it and you got like buyer anxiety like I have on a lot of different things um, just relax you're gonna be alright it's a great bow site um, and if you're looking at maybe picking up a bow site or this is the kind of need that you need I definitely run check recommend checking it out um, drop a comment below if there's something that I didn't answer that you have further questions about and I'll get right back to you. Um, hopefully that answers your questions and gives you a little bit better insight on the spot hog fast eddy.